Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's original movie, Finding Agnes. On an emotional journey to Morocco, an entrepreneur pieces together the turbulent life of his estranged mother meets her adopted daughter. Uh, this is an original movie from the Philippines and I really wanted to love this film. I tried my hardest to find a lot about it to enjoy. The best thing I can say about this film is that it has a really heartwarming uh, story, had as it has a multiple redemption arcs, it has the coming, I was not really coming of age, but growing up and learning about one's past and dealing with hurts and pains and, you know, long lost loved ones and changing as a character. We see our main protagonist here uh, who has lost his mother, you know, his mother disappeared when she was young. That's not a spoiler. That's just how the story starts. And then 25 years later, we see something happen. And so he goes on this journey uh, where we see our main protagonist kind of getting to know his mother through letters and through what her life was, learning uh, what she did with her life. And so that was an interesting premise. We have seen premises like that before. Um, and there are things in this film that should make this film really good. And being that it is an original, it's definitely the first uh, Philippines uh, film I've seen coming uh, from Netflix. I thought it was interesting. And there's definitely, not fun, there's definitely interesting moments in this. I would say that where there are emotional beats, um, it didn't have me at all. Uh, where there are emotional beats that the film wants you to feel something, like the gut punch, like the emotional ride, like the fruition, like those few moments that they have in this film that you are expected to feel something, I didn't feel anything. At no point really did I, um, I guess, come to grips with what the characters were going through or really have an emotional feeling moment towards them. Uh, I like the story, I like the, the fruition of where they went, they had like a moral, moral of the story. The problem is, this film feels very much like a straight to DVD, straight to TV movie, Hallmark, but even cheaper than that. It has a uh, massive sound issue, so there's a score that they use mostly uh, kind of piano instrumental to kind of drive forward, and that all those bits are are, are fine but there are other moments when the score is really lacking and it feels just so sparse the film feels very long uh, and unfortunately I have to use the word boring even though there are like retracing steps of this mother's journey and he meets like a sister-in-law kind of there are moments where you are meant to feel something that I just I couldn't I just there was nothing for me to really grip uh, emotionally and I think that comes down to the filmmaking because it feels so cheap in places because all the scenes are so drawn out that there it just feels like you're watching an extended episode drama episode TV episode of a soap um, it has that sort of feel to it and then the acting as well um, it's not not great there isn't a lot of presence from these characters it feels like they're delivering the lines they were given um, obviously <laughs> they're given a script but for the most part it just it feels different and I think part of that is because of the culture that I'm not used to so I will take part of my disappointment and put it in that box and go okay i'll hold up my hands and say there's definitely a culture thing here that there are definitely moments from the way they talk so there's this mixture of their language and mixed with english and multiple languages and i quite like that i feel like the cinematography got better when they actually arrive in morocco because morocco is so uh, vivid in its um aesthetics and that does help elevate the film somewhat but you have the lighting issues where it's very whited out or it has like this tv i guess filter across it which is not something that i would have gone for because it really does give a tv movie effect so you have this amazing aesthetic of morocco and then you have really standard drama shots um which is disappointing because the aesthetics in Morocco, the housing, the architecture, all are fantastic. So we have our two main protagonists and they're not terrible actors. They're just delivering lines. The way they are directed to deliver lines is very standard. There's no nuance. There's no real um, um, emotional gut punches. It feels like it's a, a first time outing, like a, it's uh, although it's not a first time outing for a filmmaker. Uh, it just feels long and boring and i didn't want to say that it does have a really great moral to the story and there are character progressions and there are moments that i was like that was pretty cool and i like what they're doing there and that was slightly creative but for the most part i was i just couldn't get to grips with this film and i just couldn't wait for it to be over if that makes sense 
So as much as I wanted to come in this and go, yeah, this is an awesome film, it isn't great. Um, uh, there are moments that I enjoyed, uh, but for the most part, I was clock watching. So um, although I like the story, I like the idea of it, I just didn't feel the execution and the look of it, the, the score, the lighting, uh, the direction just felt lacking to me. And that's just my personal opinion. Please don't hate me, so I'm going to give this a D. Thanks so much for watching this uh, review, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.